So we have this story here about Aiden Ross, who is a Twitch streamer who does a lot of NBA 2K. Uh, he got temporarily banned on Twitch after a swatting incident. And I have to say that I assume that the reason for the temporary ban would be they thought it was something that he did himself. Mm. I can't imagine why they would ban him otherwise. Um, my theory was that like, I, and I didn't, I didn't see the whole video, so I don't know, but they probably wanted to stop it either before the guns showed up on stream, because I do think that's a TOS, uh, TOS thing, thing. Is, is to show mm -hmm. guns on the stream. Um, or they did show up on the stream, in which case it's like Twitch is going to ban you yeah. for the SWAT coming in and breaking TOS. Let's, uh, let's play the clip. It, it, yeah. The point mm. here is that... It, <sighs> Some people thought that Aiden Ross faked this because well, of the way he's talking about getting swatted. Yes, yeah. let's watch it. So. We got swatted. I'm streaming right now. You, everyone can hear you. We got swatted. We got There's a SWAT team at my house right now, bro. I can hear him. Like, why is the first thing you do is, like, call your friend about it? Yo, he's coming right now. He's coming right now. I hear it. I hear it. All right. All right, peace out. It just seems really fake to me. Why do y'all do this, bro? Why do y'all do this? As he checks... Zooms in. Are you, are you really that worried? Why do y'all do this to people, bro? They're so toxic. Why do y'all do this, bro? Oh, my God. I'm why so the toxic. Fuck do y'all SWAT people? Why do y'all do this shit? I hear my friends outside already like being screamed at by cops, bro. Why do y'all do this, bro? <laughs> why do y'all do this, Let bro? Let me fix my headset. <laughs> he's, he's, why do y'all do this shit, bro? Comes back. Like, mm. why do y'all fucking do this, bro? Why do y'all? Why do y'all do it this? It just feels so <laughs> fake to me. Why do y'all fucking do this, dude? What is wrong with you guys, bro? My, I could fucking die. My friends could fucking die. Everyone's outside right now, bro. Like streaming really yourself people, getting swatted doing, bro. encourages more happens, swatting. Like, bro, I hope you never mount mm. anything. Hope bad shit happens to you all your whole life, bro. Look at me, bro. This is like not. I hear helicopters, bro. Like this shit is <laughs> fucking weird, bro. Do you hear a yeah, helicopter? You know, I, hear <laughs> I a don't. Helicopter. There are like searchlights like going into the windows. At me on stream. Helicopters isn't how they do it anyway. They go right quiet. Now. No. Y'all are fucking lame as fuck, bro. I genuinely hope you guys fucking lose in life. You're fucking weird. Is there anybody out there? He's got the track camera on, so something must have been, but... Shit is fucking whack, dude. This is, no, so, it's not a script. That's what I want to talk about. Okay, so to me, mm. this feels like one of those things... We're at, a, we're at a time in life now where the there is no distinguishable difference between the real world and what's fake anymore. Mm. Uh, I mean, even if the swatting isn't fake, he seems to be definitely overreacting. Yeah. Or at least his his reaction is fake since this has happened before. Why is it shocking and and making him so angry when he could just go outside and tell them well, what I, happened? Yeah, I, I think I think he did the right thing where he yeah. just like put his hands up. Didn't but then he move. was like messing with all of the stuff on his yeah. on his desk yeah, a, a and he was bit. like zooming in the camera. They, they weren't they weren't inside yet. Um, like the 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 way it was for me is like um because I got swatted a little while back while I was on a debate panel. And, and like you were saying about encouraging swatting. So I was on a debate stream with Destiny. Mm -hmm. Destiny's editor put in the title, pro-Trump streamer swatted during debate, which is like oh. just farming clicks from it. But yeah. that, I mean, that was all right. Uh, how it works basically for, for those who haven't been swatted, which I hope is most of you guys, um, the police go quiet. They don't bring helicopters and whatnot. It's not like this, come out with your hands up kind of thing until they're like, they know somebody's in a room. Mm -hmm. Usually, well, I don't know about usually, but in my case, they called ahead even. If they sense that it's a swatting, and Aiden Ross has been swatted before, yes, is the has. thing. Yep. Aiden Ross, unless he is very stupid, which I, I don't think he's the sharpest tool in the shed, probably went and talked to people and figured that he should get his house flagged. If you were a streamer, you can, and, and this is good advice for anybody that does stream, get your house flagged. Say you're a streamer, there's a potential of a fake swatting call to come in, and then when the police get a call to that address, they will have seen the flag, and they'll say, okay, there's a chance this is a fake call. Yeah. Uh, there's some people where the police show up, like my, my, my buddy's gotten swatted a few times. They just knock on the door, it's like the local sheriff, and he's like, yeah. hey, fake swatting call, and he's like, yeah, fake swatting call, and that's it. So mm -hmm. the thing... I don't know if it's fake, but I will say, if this is like a second or third time, I don't know how many times he's been swatted before, at least once though. He knows how this works. 
And he understands that the risk is much lower the second time around than it is the first, because you should have your house flagged. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the situation is something that you're already aware of. So yeah, his reaction seems very corny in this case. Mm -hmm. I saw this tweet from Jake Lucky that said Aiden Ross blatantly lying about not knowing why he was banned on Twitch. LMAO, what a surprise. And then it like showed this tweet from Aiden Ross saying, I got banned on Twitch indefinitely. Not sure what I said, though. Not sure what I did. It occurred on stream or VOD. I don't know, man. And then posted the screenshot yep. of uh, the reason saying hateful slurs or symbols. For context, that doesn't by the way. seem like getting banned for guns yeah for, for context so he was is a, is a crime. <laughs> yeah right. he, he was uh only right. banned for like half an hour that was it so mm -hmm. for for context he's not banned uh very Currently, long. Yeah. yep yep got got unbanned yeah. after 26 minutes 49 seconds so is that them like basically checking into it to to see it could the, be yeah yeah well he's pretty prominent on twitch this guy's big on twitch so yeah. any kind of ban like that is probably being checked off right but i mean like the the reason for it is still totally up in the air. They say like hateful slurs and whatnot. Yeah, maybe after saying bro so many times. That's that does feel like a crime against the English language. If my ums and ahs yeah. on this show are a crime against the English language, if all of the <laughs> stuttering that I have to go through on this show is an affront to your eardrums, yep. then saying bro that many times absolutely is as well. well he put some slur feeling into it. He's like bro, <laughs> bro. Why you uh, do this, bro? Yeah, it's it's uh, what's his name from the guy who used to run WC. There's a guy who used to run WCW and he's a uh, uh, pro wrestling. He used to he would always be known as the guy who would say bro all the time. Bro, <laughs> bro, this bro. But um, like for something like this, we've had this happen here. Mm. Obviously, that's that's happened. I've been through this uh, a number of times. But it does feel like we're in an age now where there are going to be people that are ghoulish enough ghoulish enough to use stuff like this to benefit them. And that's coming mm. from a world where the real world and your digital space me are no longer uh, distinguishable from one another. And mm -hmm. he's, you're an actor. You're always kind of an actor. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of Amaranth. Like a lot yeah. of people accused Amaranth of lying or being in a scheme with her husband yeah. to create this Publicity. whole fake scene yeah. of their, their split and yeah. their rift being exposed to the world mm. she said these things that seemed like written lines that yeah. were scripted like you built our empire off of my body and it's like you don't really say that when you're in an emotionally tense conversation yeah. fighting with your spouse over the phone you don't say something that sounds that dramatic and weighty and right it, and it feels like we're in an age now where there's a lot of clips you see online it's like it's like you were talking about like the not the e-boys who post the, the oh yeah look them getting I, arrested. listen <laughs> kai i tried to convince them on the stream that there are really videos mm. where tiktok e-boys like fake blood on their yes. face yeah. and pretend yep. to get arrested and yep. they were like no they don't they no absolutely way. do like, they they put the hands behind the back they look back towards look, the dane. camera and they do a little <laughs> wink yeah. dane didn't believe it i i, I yeah and like, dane was like what kind of weird shit I, are you looking up on tiktok yeah. mary and i was like i don't look it up i just see the cringe compilations dude but we're in a world now where nothing's distinguishable <laughs> from one another where everything you see it's like when you watch on the street interviews mm, right like yep. there is no real distinguishable reality between who you are and i think this is a problem of the youth right as the the generation under me i guess would be like my my generation grew up i had a cell phone in high school uh but most of them didn't have it's not like you had the internet at, yeah. your phone at that point now everyone is being turned into a weird subpar performance artist at all times thank you thank guys. you thank you let's go Woo, let's go so like you're like everyone is like especially if you're looking to make a name for yourself online has to become a type of weird like performance artist that where you're always mm -hmm. kind of on and you can't tell the difference between like when are they actually themselves and when are they their character mm. because the character doesn't have a different name or a different persona it's just them yeah that's like how I feel about Andrew Tate you know like yeah. you say that he is just really good at making soundbite worthy clips yeah. And maybe all that he says isn't reflective of his values. Yeah. But well, I think he's good at it. I think he. I think he interviews very, very well. Yeah. He, but like for for the segmented clips. Yeah. It's I hear that your the, your lights are still flashing. Are they? I think the uh, <laughs> yeah he's he's really good at getting those clips. I think the problem is when he was like you know I understand that my views can get taken out of context when they're just portrayed in these clips. It's like dude, that's viral marketing, 
right? Mm -hmm. you, you get to a point, and every person that, that, that does a show has to realize this at some point. There's a, a group of people. There's a number of people who will always take your opinions to mean the worst that they could possibly mean. Always. And if you are now tailoring your actions mm -hmm. to try and get those people to act more good faith, you'll always lose. Because from the get-go, they didn't aim to work in good faith. They don't have this like, uh, they, they don't have a standard uh, where once you've done this thing, I'm actually going to start treating you with respect. They'll always find another thing. So if yeah. you base your interactions with your audience or with how you make content off of the group of people who will always be unhappy with it, um, you're going to be miserable. You're going to be totally miserable. And for, you know, all that TikTok, you know, sucked out of me and like totally beat me <laughs> up and all that for how awful political TikTok was to me. Um, Cause I had like this platform wide, like like uh, niche wide, try gr like group of people trying to cancel me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you felt the same thing. Um, it definitely taught me what opinions matter and which ones don't. And once you can discern mm -hmm. who is actually worth listening to, you end up a lot happier. It's very stoic. I think we're gonna be stuck with just a flashing light today. I like it. I mean, that's uh, fine. High Matches energy. the the chaotic it, it, energy. I Maybe like when the next crisis party yes. happens, it'll reset itself. If somebody <laughs> wants to help us get to another crisis party, that was how we'll know. But yeah, but that's, <laughs> that is that's actually something that I've had to deal with, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm one of those people that does like I hate the uh, the the aspect of the internet that is like everything that you post is designed to be deconstructed by yeah. someone in the worst possible context. It's one of the reasons that I tell people like, look, you're, 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 uh, you're really, really, your posts that are designed to be really, really viral mm -hmm. or your, your statements that are supposed to be like that. Like, uh, people that post stuff like, uh, repeat, like I had a friend who said like the other day, repeal the 19th. I'm like, look, that's designed. Mm. I, I, there's so much nuance to what your point is when you're making that point. No, that was, uh, that was, um, one of our, that was one of our listeners. That was, uh, uh, one of our viewers like sent me like that they were arguing with people about that. I'm like, look, when you post something that controversial, even if you have a fleshed out point of view that absolutely responsibly mm -hmm. explains what you mean, mm -hmm. the phrasing that you're giving is designed to be deconstructed by people that don't agree with you. But isn't that and it's easy. fine as long as you don't let it suck you into a bunch of yes. fruitless mm. discussions with like people who in bad faith. Because like so. that's what I thought TikTok was. That's how I use TikTok. I'm sure that's how you use mm. TikTok. Is you just like I would just post and just go. Like yeah. I would not yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even interested in the for you page. I yep. would just post and close the app and I would like scroll through the comments a little bit, but like never or almost yep. never respond to any comments at all. Yep. Especially like the the option to do a video response to a comment is just setting <laughs> yourself up to get mass reported yep. by people with victim complexes. So like it was all about like posting and being able to mentally disengage mm -hmm. from the topic after that because like it's supposed to be short it's supposed to be pithy mm. you make your point in a punchy way that's what the platform is yeah. the medium is the message yep. and I, I guess i just don't like that aspect of it like i i i'm the type of person like i don't want to argue with you on the internet i'd rather discuss it with you in person yeah both have can, their merits though where we, i think uh it's being worked on oh okay Still flashing. thank you christopher uh, pool like, yes. you, you see those like 100 <laughs> like message chains yeah. on TikTok Who's comments. Who's yeah. for that? Yeah. I, I With would, a I character would time limit of out. like a hundred. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I, would, I would just start banning people from my chat. I would message them. Yeah. Hey, yeah. just DM each other. I am sick of seeing the notifications yeah. of you two schmucks just mm -hmm. arguing back and like, forth. Like get on a phone call. <laughs> yeah, <guess>. literally. Like, <laughs> go like, kiss each other already. <laughs> even like that even happens like when people like somebody will say something negative on like one of my posts on Instagram about my skating and then it's still going and then, uh, okay. and then somebody will <laughs> respond defending me i'm like mm. oh my god he just started yes. the entire yeah. argument. I'm like, can you guys please just not argue really i like, thought that was always funny when people would argue in my i guess it stopped like on your behalf um you fixed it. thank well, you <laughs> thank you chris when people would argue on my behalf or just in general argue in my comment sections i would find it funny and mm. it's also good for me algorithmically so yeah that didn't bother it. me speaking of algorithm i have a buddy who literally <laughs> he intentionally mispronounces words 
Oh, so that people so that mention people it in the comments. Them. Oh yeah, like uh, and boost the algorithm. I don't have that. I was told to like leave my. Uh, I had a I had like a rough week the other week with mm. like the titles. I kept misspelling stuff. Or like I would make changes to a thumbnail and not remove a word. And then yeah. of course you get like a bunch of comments where people are like, "Look, good job, loser, for misspelling." <laughs> it. And people like just leave it in there because then people will like. Uh, I'm like I don't have the that in me to just leave it in there. I have to go back yeah. and change it. But yeah, that's absolutely it's thing. It's been a source of a lot of psychological torment for mm. you. I was like somebody's like I don't. Mean to pile on but i found this old thumbnail from like so i'm like no please. while stop. i'm messaging you please, other ones please, please God, why no <laughs> but this this is this is a problem for me because i am one of those people that like when i post something i don't like the fact that somebody's like clearly no i don't necessarily believe that all of them are doing it in bad faith mm. but i don't like it when i have to be misinterpreted for what i actually mean which is yeah. why i just avoid that type of content mm -hmm. that type of content altogether online like yeah it's different when we're doing the show because we're actually discussing it through mm. people can take whatever they want from that in the comment sections of those videos but i'm not going to debate it with them online i'd rather talk about it with them in person yep. kai do you know what aiden ross might have done or said to be controversial enough to get swatted um if you're like he, he's an irl streamer uh, well, kind of, somewhat. A lot of the times he just puts the camera down and is hanging out with people. Mm -hmm. He hangs out with lots of famous people. He's one of the biggest on Twitch right now. I think he's done some gambling in the past. Yeah, um, I, I saw don't know some what, stuff. That they, yeah. they said there was a, They're moving there was a away from of, gambling now. There was a couple yeah. of articles mm -hmm. that were like, uh, Aiden Ross responds to claims of racism, which is like mm -hmm. the bare minimum of what you're going to get hate for online now. They're yeah. Especially find, on Twitch. They're going to find that in everything you do. But so, uh, honestly, like... There's there's a chance he said a slur or something, but I think he's probably careful about that. And they wouldn't give you an indefinite suspension for that most of the time. It would be a, a one week, one month kind of suspension. Or they roll out like thirty minutes. Yeah, even. yeah. My my guess is it's like somebody was like, "Hey, this guy's getting swatted. Let's uh, probably not publish that." And Especially if something were to go wrong, you don't want that. To you do live. not want somebody getting killed live on Twitch. You don't want no. that happening. So, so that's what minute, I thought happened. Is a yeah. thirty minute stream? Uh, is a thirty minute ban a thing where they ban you for? That's nope. or if it's if it's only to halt the stream. That no, he's yeah, doing. talk about like it was. Yeah. It was an indefinite stream. Reverse thirty minutes later is the thing, which the, is weird. Imagine the oh, addiction okay. of our uh, like the the culture of addiction we have, where you can be threatened <laughs> yeah. with a thirty minute ban. They're like, you're not going to be able to be online for like yeah. thirty I, minutes, <laughs> and you're like, come on. On, man that's how it is with like apps though yeah with apps hey if you want to you know level up your clash of clans thing you're gonna have to wait a few days or a few rate hours limited. yeah <laughs> and people will pay hundreds of dollars to to level it up right now you know they've got those that app for your phone that can lock you can lock yourself out of your phone for yep. a certain amount of hours because people just have no self-control like yeah. or the lock yeah. boxes yeah, for the, them yeah the, mm -hmm. the like the it's just a huge box. It's your good. Phone just, like you couldn't just drill through it. I'm sure you that you need to just have someone take it from you that you trust will not like give in if you ask for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's literally what uh, like if you're going through addiction, like that's a thing that can happen to someone is like, look, hey, man, mm -hmm. like I need some help. And then like you're like 30 minutes later, an hour later, you're like, come on, man. Like, yeah, I, I didn't mean it. I was, I was kidding. Like, that's that's mm -hmm. a thing. It's like the so. sirens. Yep. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.